Welcome back. The art of starting conversations that lead to meaningful connections despite different beliefs and backgrounds. That's the mission behind the 50 States Project, where one woman is sharing a meal with 50 different women, one per state. We are joined this morning by author Sherry Lee to tell us more about her journey to all 50 states. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here this morning, Sherry. Tell us a little bit about the 50 States, states Project. What is it? Yes, so I decided that this year I was going to travel throughout the United States and to make it meaningful, I decided to sit down with strangers across the U.S., one woman in every state that I didn't know or have had very little to no contact with in the past 35 years or so, um, to sit down and share a meal. And I started here in January in Albuquerque. Okay. So I'm so happy to be back and I just finished less than two weeks ago. Very fun. And Sherry was actually telling me that she's back in Albuquerque for the Balloon Fiesta, which was recommended to you by the local woman that you had lunch with. Yes, Nicole Bridges. When I was here, she told me about the festival and she said, wow, you're wrapping up. You need to come back and we can celebrate the end of your journey. And I'm meeting her actually in a couple of hours and meet her entire family. Perfect. Very cool. Now tell us a little bit about the goal behind the project. Why did you want to start this? So on a personal level, because I hadn't traveled the U.S., I wanted to, and also my parents, um, they were interned during World War II. I was adopted by Japanese Americans. Okay. And so I grew up with the belief that maybe the whole U.S. wasn't open for me. So I wanted to rewrite that belief, and I have. I've been welcome everywhere. And on a um, more global level, I want to kind of demonstrate what happens when you sit down with a stranger and if you're looking for connections and um, celebrating your differences as opposed to, you know, quickly shutting things down and not having these conversations because maybe we're different ages, different economic levels, different races, different beliefs. Um, so, and this has demonstrated that as well. And you mentioned that this project allowed you to kind of rewrite that initial belief that you may not be welcome all over mm -hmm. the United States, but what else have you learned from this project? Well, one, I've learned people are really open to sitting down and meeting, even with a stranger. No one stood me up. Okay. <laughs> uh, everyone actually showed up on time too. And also that um, just by sitting down you could, and starting these conversations, you can plant these seeds of friendships. I have not just had 50 conversations, I've developed 50 friends. I've been messaging and texting along the way. It gets easier as you, as you do this practice and go along. Now I actually talk to just about anybody. Yeah, that's really cool to really get out of your comfort zone that way. Now tell me a little bit about the, the people that you met and how you set up those interactions. Were these people that you just kind of saw it out in public and asked them to lunch or did you plan ahead? I planned ahead because I needed to know where I was going sure. ahead of time and to plan the travel. And um, so the first 27 I got on my own and there were people like, for instance, the woman in Indiana is my web designer. Never met her in person or talked about our lives uh, because she charges by the 15 minute increments or something. But I got to go there, Indiana, for the first time and sit down with her. The rest I went to friends and on social media said I have these dates left. And the woman here in Albuquerque, I had 13 states where I actually had no contacts, looked online, messaged them, and basically I think with Nicole, I sent her a lot of my information. And she said she waited a couple of days before she responded, and she took a chance and agreed to meet with me. Where can we go for more information on the project and on your story? So my business name, it's a long name, it's Anne Imperfectly Perfect Life. It's okay. on uh, Instagram, but anywhere, uh, if you look at my name, Sherry Lead, uh, 50 states, you'll see it. All right. And then, of course, you guys can also head to our website. That's always on krqe.com.